Thank y'all so much for being with us this evening. We are Roy Smoke and Revenge. I'm going to play you guys some tunes this evening. We thank you, thank you, thank you. Now man, that's down, it don't pass this out 
30 years, based out of Memphis, been playing music with Adam probably about 16 years, um, and this is also Nelson Pettigrew. Yes, um, Paul of God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I play sax, of course. Who are you? 
My name is Wes Klasky. I'm from Jonesboro. And uh, I'm just glad to be here with you guys, man. This was fun. Yeah, most definitely. I'm Taylor McBride. I'm from uh, Northern Illinois, Joaquin, Illinois, actually. But I've been in Arkansas since probably 2003. So I guess do the math on that, 17 years or so. So I guess I'm from Arkansas now, pretty <laughs> much. Uh, I've been playing uh, some kind of instrument since I was in the third grade, saxophone is what I started off with, moved to guitar and piano and kind of whatever I can get my hands on because music is great and just playing it with my friends is the best thing in the world. Welcome to NEA On Stage, live at the Forum. I'm Christy Pulliam, Executive and Artistic Director at the Foundation of Arts. I hope you are as inspired as I am by the excellence in these local musicians and performers and by Ritter Communications, who have partnered with us to make this happen for Northeast Arkansas and beyond. The Foundation of Arts has been home to literally thousands of artists over the past 33 years, and we will rise to meet the challenges that are today. That way, we can still be home for everyone who wants to grow together, learn together, heal together, and share in the truth and beauty that is the arts. Thank you so much for being a part of the Foundation of Arts in this way and enjoy NEA On Stage live at the Forum. Don't stop your 
one's called Someday.
The history of this band, uh, I guess, dates back with he and I uh, in a band called Starroy. We actually played a, a couple of Starroy tunes uh, earlier this evening, which you're watching right now. And uh, uh, it's, what, what, what year was that, man? Uh, oh, four? I think, yeah. End of 04, beginning of 05, I guess, yeah. So he and I were in that band together, and it progressed on, and then, you know, things change, and people change, and now we're here with these guys. Uh, we met Nelson through Starroy, uh, doing that. I met Wes a long time ago, before we even had the band. We used to be roommates. <laughs> That's a whole other story. And. Taylor has, like he said, he's always played an instrument, so he's always been around. You know, and he's, I was actually messing around with a little bit of the lights for Star Roy. Oh, that's yeah. right. They were there, there, yeah. there for a little while. That yeah. was that was a lot of fun. Yes, yeah, it, it was. was awesome. Guess you could say roadie for for a couple shows. Anytime anyone wanted to go somewhere and get out of town for the weekend, they'd yeah. jump in the bus and go hang out. So this program, NEA on stage, live from the forum, it was really interesting how it came about. We have a local community programming channel called TubeTown. And normally this time of year, those people would be involved in taping and producing local sports, high school sports like baseball games and graduation ceremonies and all sorts of stuff that's now been canceled. At the same time, we know that our local musicians around Northeast Arkansas have lost access to gigs that they previously had scheduled, they've lost venues that they can play at, and they've lost connection with their audiences. And third, the Foundation of the Arts, which operates the Forum in downtown Jonesboro, had a number of productions scheduled for this spring that have had to been canceled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So when we considered all those three things together, it's almost like a light bulb came on and we said, wait a second, we can book these artists to perform at the Forum, doing it in a social, socially responsible, social distancing sort of way, uh, we can use our TubeTown staff to record and produce a show based on those concerts. We can put that show on TubeTown and on our social media, and it'll benefit the artists, it'll benefit the foundation of the arts, and it'll benefit our viewers who will have an entertainment alternative that they might not have had otherwise. So it really uh, wound up an ambulance to kill three birds with one stone and have a, a positive impact with resources that wouldn't have been used otherwise.
You know, we're really pleased with uh, the support we've gotten from the Foundation of the Arts. They've generously allowed us to use the forum uh, as a venue for producing these shows. Uh, and the people that we're featuring are just incredibly talented. NEA has some great musicians. And I know personally, I have missed over the last several weeks the opportunity to go and see them live. So hopefully this fills that, uh, that gap for a number of our viewers. Uh, and we think supporting the arts in the Jonesboro community and in Northeast Arkansas in general is really important. So we're pleased to have the opportunity to do something small uh, to help support the arts during these difficult times. Every day, people across the world are targeted. Some of us never fall victim, while others aren't so fortunate. It can happen before you realize. And it can start with a simple... Maybe you receive an email that you thought was from your closest friend, or your boss needs you to send some information that you know they wouldn't normally ask for. It can happen just like that. Cybercrime is real. Don't fall victim. Don't be scared. Be cautious. And think before you click. A friendly reminder from Calmer Solutions. Taking care of technology so you can take care of business.
Well, I was in this dream that we were all in last world. This dream faded away and was replaced by the sun. I'm kicking and I'm screaming for my love to come on home. It seems she's too far gone and I'm left all alone. But that doesn't stop me, I'm gonna search anyway. And still the new dawn takes us so far away. This place that I'm standing I can't see a thing I'm hoping my God The light he will bring This place that I'm standing in And God don't go to view And music just ain't the same With mm, Without you Now there's something that tells me I just can't let go There's something that tells me I Got to take it slow But there's too little sound for this low rug and roll With you I would love, I would love To grow Now this place that I'm standing, I can't see a thing. I hope that my God, the light he will bring. This place that I'm standing in, and God, the good of you. The music just ain't the same way. Now this place that I'm standing, I can't see a thing. I hope that my God the life he will bring This place that I'm standing I ain't got a good view And music just ain't the same with mm, Ain't the same without mm, Without you Yeah Influences. Uh, let's see. I would have to say Blind Melon. Shannon Hoon uh, is a great songwriter. Uh, man, I, every every time I sit down to listen to Blind Melon, you know, it, it takes me back. You know, it's it's a safe place too. Uh, Dave Matthews Band, huge. Uh, Government Mule, man, Fish, Widespread Panic. Uh, as for me, um, I'm more of a uh, jazzier type of background. Uh, I started around 11 years old, uh, really. There was a radio station from Memphis. It was called uh, Smooth Jazz 98.9. Yeah, and <laughs> when I heard that, I, I, I was just hooked. Many talented artists. So you had Gerald Albright, uh, you had Michael Brecker, you had just Paul Taylor, all kinds of smooth jazz bass. But you know, it also expanded out to like piano music and just different instruments, guitarists. I could name you a lot of those. And my sister went and got me Pearl Jam 10, which was my first album. That kind of got me onto Pearl Jam, Nirvana, um, 
a couple of years, a little bit of Alice and Chains, but kind of quickly moved on to Green Day because of the drumming as soon as Dookie came out. Talking about my musical influences, I guess, uh, I've always listened to a pretty varied kind of thing. I mean, I'm into all the stuff I guess they were talking about. Um, you know, as time's gone on, I mean, lately, if you come to my house with my girls around, you're probably going to hear some Descendants or... <laughs> <laughs> gonna be like my wife's yoga playlist is what I've been bumping lately. So uh, you know, I just, just kind of roll with it. You know, I I, I, I got to say, pretty much, I could say I've kind of grew up on a, a lot of the stuff that these guys have too, with an addition of like uh, some of the some of the bigger singer songwriters, I guess, like uh, Paul Simon and uh, Jackson Brown. Um, Jackson Brown's actually. Uh, pretty huge influence on me as far as the piano goes. Um, as far as the guitar goes, I would say uh, Jimi Hendrix, Steve Ray Vaughan. Um, uh, massive respect for Brian May of Queen. I really like oh, him. At Ritter Communications, we're dedicated to being a caring community partner. We invest in the communities we serve by supporting local nonprofits, academic programs, local athletics, and events that bring us together. We create the connections that strengthen our communities. Ritter Communications, right by you. This next tune here is called Get Gone. Thank y'all again for paying attention to us. We are Roy Smoking Revenge.
Thank you guys so much for paying attention to us this evening. Again, we are Roy Smoking Revenge. We hope to see you soon. I'm going to take you out on this last one. It's called Greenwood. Light the mouth of green world.